Hey guys and gals, Russ here with bishopswest.com. Um, in my last video, I talked about one of the new features in the newest version of Bitwig Studio, which was the comp recording and their take lanes. This time I'd like to talk about another feature that they added, which is the operators. Now I'm not gonna take time to go into all of the operators and do a whole tutorial and everything, but I thought it'd be fun to talk about how to use them um, just to make a quick snare riser. So uh, let's jump into Bitwig Studio and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here in Bitwig Studio, I've just drug in one um, sample. It's just a rim shot. That's all it sounds like. And um, first of all, just to show you what I'm talking about with the snare riser, what I would probably do is do something like this, trim it to a quarter note and then copy it once and then maybe for the, oops, for the next half of that bar, uh, come on, do that maybe. And then for the next half bar, do that. And then for the last little bit, get it to the point where I can shorten it to that. And maybe leave the last whatever open, I don't know. I'll just do it all the way over. So what it would sound like is, okay, and I'm, of course I could make those even shorter. Um, that's kind of what I would usually do for like a snare riser or in this case, of course, using a rim shot. So talking about operators, what I can do instead is, let's just duplicate this. Uh, get rid of all of those except for the original. And what I'm going to do is drag out this clip to make it two bars long. But then down here in the editor, you can see that the original audio event is the original length. It's just the raw audio event. So all I'm going to do is, when I say operators, I'm talking about this new group of interesting tools over here. I'm just going to take the second one for the repeat rate and I'm going to, well, sorry, before I do that, undo, I'm going to take this audio event and just drag it for the full length of those two bars. And what that allows me to do is when I start upping this audio rate, you can see it's actually creating new instances all the way across. So I'm going to take it up to I don't know, maybe 24. So what that sounds like is, okay, so that's a good start. But the other thing that I need to do is um, just drag it all the way over here so that it starts out slow and gets faster and faster as I go all the way to the end of those two bars. So now it just sounds like, Okay, so um, quite a bit easier, I think, and a lot faster than doing it one at a time over here or, or a group at a time and duplicating those. It's still the same one little audio event, but using this um, operator, I'm just able to duplicate it all the way across and then um, set it as fast or slow as I want. I mean. If I wanted to, I could even just do it this way, which would be an interesting effect too. Coming into something slower. So yeah, just easy peasy. So like I said, I'm not going to go through the whole tutorial thing and show you every single one of the operators, but I thought that one would be something fun and useful for a lot of people. Um, it's what I'm going to be using from now on for those kind of risers. So hope you enjoy that. And again, a reminder, if you go to bishopswest.com slash bitwig setup, I've got a free guide for you there called Accelerate Your Music Making in Bitwig. It's just a quick guide to set up Bitwig so that you can get to making music quickly. Don't have to go through a lot of extra steps every single time. Uh, I think it's pretty useful. So again, bishopswest.com slash bitwig setup. Um, and that's all I've got for you guys. So hope you have a great week and I'll talk to you soon.